Mikey bags of money. We're dropping off some at the UPS store right over there. Uh, new wave. Today we are going shopping. I'm going to hit the Goodwill, do a little thrift sourcing, rolling solo. Anyways, there's a corn dog spot behind me. I'm hungry. Don't tell Courtney. We've been trying to have a better diet and get fit. This place, I've been coming by it, dropping off my stuff. It smells so good. Today's the day. I can't wait. Don't let her know. We're gonna try to fill up the cart. You know I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Facebook. I use list perfectly. We're gonna go into the store, Goodwill. We're gonna go look for some items that we can flip and flip quickly. We're gonna look up the items or I'm gonna use my knowledge that I've gained through my years of reselling. Not that many. Hey, I didn't know much when I started, but I take in a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube. I am a frequent member on Instagram. Check out at the Charmed LV. You can find bolos, you can find friends, you can find everything there. Business models, amazing people. It's so friendly, highly recommend it. Alrighty friends, let's go. Grab a cart, try to find some money making opportunities. There is a fresh rack over there that we are headed to the men's section first. All right, we're gonna check out this whole section of men's t-shirts right here. We're looking for single stitch, big graphics, anything vintage. We'll check out some sports stuff. Uh, mostly we'll focus on the purple tags right here because I've been here a couple days every week and all the other color tags I've checked out. So the purples are the new one of the week. So like I'm not even gonna pay much attention in that section. I'm gonna be looking for my purples. Purples, Old Navy, Space Needle. I used to live in Seattle, shout out the Space Needle. Let's work this rack over and I'll let you know if we find anything. Okay, here is a vintage shirt, and if you've never heard what single stitch is, if you can look right there, see how it's just one little single stitch right there, as opposed to a double stitch right there. So it's single stitch. Uh, a lot of times these collars will be a little chunkier than the other collars. See that? And uh, there's a classic vintage tag for you, the Hanes 5050. Uh, look at these, it's, it's this is real pink with embroidered, gold stars i probably should pick this up but uh i'm gonna let it pass someone else can enjoy this beautiful piece hope that information helps you okay i busted through that rack ah, this the only interesting shirt i really found was this family feud one it's vintage from mega jackpot game man it's pretty cool i'm not huge on the feud uh, so i'll just skip that one i forgot and not letting courtney know was I used the debit card. Son of a gun, she might see that we were by the Korean hot dog place and wonder WTF was going on with that. But uh, hey, that's a gamble I'm willing to take. This is Las Vegas, baby. Fresh rack, lucky us. Let's see what we can find. An arrow, Tony Hawk. LOL, I've never heard of LOL, laughing out loud. Look at that, looks like a bathroom break. What we got here? Some kind of UNLV. Riding Rebels, Helix, see what we can find, there's also some skateboarding shoes here, check these out. We got some Brooks right here and some Keens. Keens and Brooks. Run Happy 15. We'll put that in the cart and check it out. Check the bottoms. I got a lot of wear, but they look like a special edition of some sort. We also have some Keens. Keens are definitely a Bolo $13, so we'll check the exact comps on them. But uh, Keens are a great shoe if you've never seen them. Definitely worth checking out. Let's see what else we can find here. This is interesting. A bunch of $15 IZOD sweaters. Brand new key, originally $60 for $15. I don't know the sell through rate on those, but there's a whole bunch of them. 
that's your thing. Let me know if you swoop them all up. It's one listing, 2XL. They're brown. We get tons of them, tons of them, tons of them. Major store donation. So I'm gonna think there's gonna be some other IZOD stuff around here. The red tag day, those would only be 750 brand new. That sounds a little better to me than 15. Alrighty, we got some Ben Davis originals. This is some vintage workwear, Ben Davis, like a skater uh, brand. But that's Montgomery Ward, 21. I'm gonna sell them probably for a hundy or at least list them like that. Let's go. All right, let's check out some hard goods. We just got those pants. We're gonna look up the shoes down there. These pants are a sweet, sweet score. They had a pair that was used, but the comps on used were only about $40. They had a good sell through rate. But I'm already going to pay 20, plus it'd be 10 for shipping. The money's not there, but these are the new uh, dead stock, so we can really price them up on that. Here we go, we got the potato dog, the two hand dog, the spicy dog, and the crispy rice dog. All right, we got some golf stuff. You know, we're always selling golf stuff. Got UNLV uh, golf bag right there. That might be a cool little local sale. Someone might like it, nine dollars. But it's a little banged up, and I'm very picky about what I get, so we're gonna skip on that. It's golf clubs, pinnacles, no, all skips. So, ooh, baseball gloves can definitely be a bolo. Let's see what we got. This one looks a little red tagged. Fifteen dollars. Um, like I said, they're bolo. They're very easy to look up. A lot of times they'll have a number in here. This one's a Ken Griffey Jr. 12 and a half inch. There's the number. RBG36. So we're going to look that up and then see what the comps come back as. Rawlings is very good. I see another one over here. The condition. Kind of banged. Oh, yeah, the condition isn't good here. Do they still want the 15 for it? Nope. Six dollars for that one. At least they uh, they marked it down on that. But not good condition. It's really stiff. So we'll definitely look up that other glove and keep on looking. Got a wooden baseball bat here. That seems like a splinter. Louisville Slugger. Big old bang right there. I don't really know about bats. It's a Louisville Slugger, but it's definitely in banged up condition. So maybe put that behind your door. Get them old school. Let's see what else we can find. What else looks interesting? Oh, these are little water balloon things. Plug them into your hose. Automatic water balloons, technology people. Right, design your own cheerleader bobblehead doll. Look at that. If that looks like you, you can get it. If it doesn't look like you, uh, I don't know what you do it, but it's got paint. Cheerleader, oh. bobblehead. Can't imagine that's a bolo. I'm waiting on that corn dog. It's gonna have like sweet, savory. I'll definitely give you guys a view. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you ever uh, eat without your spouse. Sometimes you just need a snack or a meal and can't let the other one know. You know how it goes, married life. Over 20 years we've been together. I uh, love the married life. Uh, we share everything, but once in a while, we don't share a meal. Okay, we are in the glasswares. I know you guys like checking out the glasswares. Let's see what we can find today. We're always trying to look and learn. And... Uh, let's see this thing's a little interesting right here it's it's got the flower pattern a little fancier than normal but I don't think it's got any branding oven proof so I'm just gonna chill with that there's Hard Rock Hurricane Houston if you've ever been there you'd want that but I definitely don't want that let's see what else we can find kind of serving platters interesting you can get a bunch of them 
Well, here's a pair to that other casserole dish. Uh, this one's red tagged here. It's kind of cool and special. Another red tag back there. These are red tagged. See any kind of brand. Right. Let's see what we can find. Some Royal Norfolk. Ooh, look at the grapes right here. I got grapes. E40. If you know what I'm talking about. I got grapes. Noble Excellent. I think it's definitely cool. It's probably missing a lid, I would assume. So, I'll keep moving on. What is this? This guy looks... What is this? Max... Max Brenner. Chocolate by the salad man these things are definitely interesting look at it's got the inside right there the bottom and the guy kind of uh dances around there so that's really cool i don't know the value but cool factor it's a solid seven ah the niche lady told me i looked you can't buy a cup without a saucer and a saucer without a cup so Definitely a skipper ski on that one. Let's keep on looking to see what we can find. This thing, a royal baby plate, February 7th, 1905. You know this thing's old. They're only asking $4 for it. What is this thing? A royal baby plate. And uh, it's, it's not a glass plate. So, I don't know what the heck this is. Further research, probably required, but it's been here for a while, so I'm just gonna skip on out of that and keep on moving. What is this thing? Oh, it's kind of like a wooden top. It's got some weight to it, it's seasonal. Interesting farmhouse plate. Look at that. It's got the crows in the back. Very interesting. Painted. It's vintage, 1998. Warren Kimball. Barnes. Set of four. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got an oval, citrus oval, three-piece serving set. That'd be nice for the guest see what else we've got in here today don't forget to stay till the end i'm probably going to eat that corn dog let you guys know more what's going on in the world of mikey bags of money don't forget to like subscribe that really helps we're on that rush to get that thousand so make sure you do your part it's really appreciated let's keep coming i'll keep hitting the thrift as long as you guys keep hitting that like This is definitely interesting. So I'm just looking and learning what the heck is this thing. Whoa, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't even think it all goes together. All right, I did the research on these murals. They were pretty close, but they had a little damage on the lace, and we're gonna skip them. They're probably a little dirty up over there, so we're skipping those. These Brooks brand new, they were selling on eBay for like 159. They didn't have any used, but I noticed some wear. Back there, there is no used sales, and I mean, they really did have too much wear down there for me, but I ended up skipping those. This thing is definitely not worth it at 15, so we're gonna put that one back. The horses definitely skate shoes uh, they had some good looking comps on those try to give it this sole test right here anyways and the Keens they're about 25 and a 40 or 13 and a 40 and uh, excellent sell through rate so this is what we're going to roll with and uh, I think we might need to hit up another store but uh, thank you all so much for coming along let's, let's check out
yo, I just got home. This was waiting for me on the counter. Courtney's like, I got a shake for you made. So um, I don't think she knows about the corn dog yet. <laughs> Carry on, here's to the diet of the new year.